Hello, everyone. This is Nancy. Welcome back to our live tutorial tonight, and happy Tuesday. Hope everyone have a great Tuesday today. It looks a little bit too dark, though. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Hope everyone have a great day. Hi, Angie. Angelica, how are you? Hey, the guys with the nails. How are you? Hi, Brows Eyes. Hi, Manny. Hi, Manny K Creation. How are you? Hi, Brittany. How are you? It looks so much better now. Um, Welcome back to our live tutorial brought to you by uh, Glitter Sassy and such. And my name is Nancy, and I'm so excited to get to share with you every single night, every single night, except Sunday nights. But then sometimes you might see me hopping in on um, uh, IG or Facebook to share tips and tricks. If you miss my last uh, night live tutorial, I did quite cool things for a uh, Mardi Gras nails, which is going on a festival down in South. It's gonna be a Tuesday, February twenty fifth. I have one of this. I'm got it for all of you, so you get an idea of really cute masks. This is just one of a simple masks. If you go down to New Orleans or uh, Alabama Mobile, you will see a lot of different cool masks. Masquerade is so fancy. Some of them are so fancy, and some of them that you can really like decorate it. I think I'm gonna put crystal on this one. It's super cute mask though. This one is light, and I have all the feather. It's super cute. And then if you put it all the nails together, it goes so well. The main color of Mardi Gras is super beautiful and bright, sparkle. It's always have purple and like kind of um, magenta and majestic. And also the green and the gold is so really cute and such a great um, a history and, and it's nice. I think I would say it's cultural though. So it's really fun along with like after Valentine here down in South, we celebrate it's really big Mardi Gras. So if you are even like um, travel down here, it's gonna be a great way. Hey, Vicky, how are you? So I wanna do like maybe a couple of nails, but also before that, we're gonna do a um, really simple, quick, beautiful nails. Here I have it on my hand, which is uh, this two colors ombre for valentine or we can do this um, majestic like a purple so which one would you like to see you pick curves where the accents from maybe down from south <laughs> makeup hey how are you makeup Hello from Chile. Hello, how are you? Red Pixie, this one? Purple? Purple. Okay, we have more people want to see purple. All right, so let's do some purple tonight. And we're going to do probably a couple of, uh, we're doing both of them to doing ombre. So if you want, you can do a solid colors or you can do a purple, like both of the colors together. So you can do this. It's really nice. Um, Give me all the package. It's just really nice. It also have a uh, instruction in the back of this too, for for all of you who like just first time interview with them and this pixie or is have any troubleshootings anything at all. I think it's great. I'm excited with this two color. So I'm gonna do in the clear nails and then I'm gonna move this one out on the sides for just a second and I will get back with this one. Okay. On the side for me. Hope everyone have a great Tuesday. I am going to do it on a clear nails. I am so obsessed with the clear nails. You need is at least two tray. You need two triangle tray because we do two different diamond dust pixies, so we don't want them to contaminate. Therefore, I using two tray. Just make sure I got that. 
and with this i am going to using condensed glue gel as usual if you are first time tuning in welcome to glitz accessory and such and uh if you are been tuning in for so many uh, live video thank you so much and for the love and support I am going to apply a good amount so for the first time if you're using our condensed glue gel or using a trifecta you might notice that this one might be too like a thick for you so do not hesitate to blend them out this one if you're doing on a two coat of the nails you don't need a base coat at all so I think I blend them really good. Close the lids of my condensed glue gel. It's really thick density and it's not runny for you. And for all of you who are asking how I clean the brush, just wipe off the brush, all the excess glue gel, and close the cap. Do wipe off it first before you close the caps on. And I'm going to using a no wipe top coat. With this technique, will help to grip. First of all, is help finish, you know, the nails and help grip the base of the crystal. It stay nice and lasts so much longer. Um, can I get the new one, please? Top coat. Make sure when you're doing your top coat, you're gonna floating it on the top of the condensed glue gel, which is I haven't cured the condensed glue gel, gel yet. So excited to get to see everyone tonight. And then with this, here's an option. You can either put, I like that, it's typical though. Or you can do this ruby rose. Ruby rose looks good. I don't. We see we see uh, ruby rose all the time already. And let me see and let me play with the um, kind of a deep purple and see how it turned out. Because I'm like I really like that. You don't have to if you want just diamond dust pixie. You can just go ahead and just, um apply the diamond dust pixie. But I want to get some bling on it. So excited to get to see you tonight. Such a great night tonight. I always keep myself really busy every day. Hope everyone have a busy day. Make good money. And I am here to share with you all tips and tricks so then you can always learn and work smarter. Alright, so with this, we can do... If you have a client's nails, then when you're doing your client's nails, it's actually it's easier to do in the, the um, swatch. Put the fingers right in the tray so then your crystal pixie will not like uh, running everywhere or bouncing everywhere. Actually, it's um, really uh, help so much from... Thank you so much, Blanca. Thank you so much, sweetie. I am going to sprinkle it like an ombre. So I'm going to do it in like half of the nail first. Just really gentle. You don't have to pull it really fast. And I'm gonna just doing in half of the nails tap it on the side to make sure they are stay tight and compact together all right and I'm gonna put that on the side I am going to using the other one which is the lighter purple forget what the name is called I put it down. Okay. So this one, make sure that's not gonna. And 
and this one looks also really nice with the light base of purple as well but it's really it's up to you it's really depend on if you want to do the ombre with clear nails because it's really in trend now a lot of clients love ombre with the clear nails or you can do it with the base of a light colors purple so it's really it's up to you okay so you can do either way it looks good all right put on the side tap it down you can see that the ombre is really nice though I like that I, I like to do in the clear nail so you can see really obvious these ombre so I'm gonna tap it on the side to make sure they are tight really really close and tight like for all the beginners who will start just doing a diamond dust pixie get to um, do experience with this so make sure you just um, tap them the closer the crystal together the longer your crystal gonna last so I'm gonna this one I don't have to worry about because later when I cure it's gonna come just right off. So if I'm happy with this, I'm gonna pop this into the lamp for about 60 seconds. Just make sure that I get everything covered. That looks really good though. Okay, it had the big crystal in there. Great, so I'm gonna put that into the lamp for about 60 seconds. So if you have a troubleshooting with applied diamond dust pixie, you're afraid of your diamond dust pixie going to fall off. If you follow my step, it's going to be really easy and it's not easy to come off. So I am going to pull back the diamond dust pixie. It's just really full, so that's why it's, you can see that. And pull the other ones back in. So then you can use it, save it for the future's use. I got some of this extra one here. I'm gonna just dust it off. It's really simple. Hey Priscilla, how are you? I got some of the masquerades. I have it trim it like this is Chan for Foy, so I got trim it from if you remember, if you get your um Halloween, Halloween Chan for Foy. I got my Halloween Chan for Foy, I got it back in like of course October. I love one of, do I have that? I might do it somewhere. Uh, just the chanfer foil, trim one. Can I get that one? I'm going to show it to you. If you have that from us, one you bought it back in October, it's going to be so much fun because we're going to go in to do the next nails and uh, for Mardi Gras. This guy. It's really stunning. I love it because it's all the masquerades. I cut it from here, which you can see tiny little pieces of it. You don't have it, just totally fine. You have so many different designs that you can do with. Uh, so when we're done with that, I am going to, I like that combination of this, but if you want to put AB or you want to put ro uh, Ruby Rose or you can put a lighter purple, it's really it's up to you you make um, a decision of what you would like. So since I already make sure that all my diamond dust pixies stay nice and compact, I am going to use my pre-season glue. This guys is really does amazing work. I'm using one end of the, um, the pre-season glue right now, which is the needle side, to just squeeze in just a little bit amount of precision glue because I know that on the sides I will really seal completely whole and tie the nails and on the cuticle area. And if I see any of the nails that have edges, which is I don't think so because they are covered completely good. And if you see any of gap, you can squeeze that in, but I see really tight because I make sure that before I cure it, I Make sure I tap them and get them stay really nice and compact. I'm gonna pop it in the lamps for 60 seconds. I had so much fun there. Wish was close like you. You mean Mardi Gras? 
Oh, that's one glows in. Oh, okay. That's one is uh, glow in the in the black light. The neon. Yes, you can't you can't go wrong with that. That's right, Manny Cave Creations. You are absolutely right. I think either way, you can go with by single. You can do it by just only solid one, or you can do a lighter one, or you can do darker one, or you can do both of them. It's really fun and it's super is easy. It can be easy when you're just following the steps, so you won't feel like a really frustrated um, that is popping up. So excited to get to see everyone today. I'm so excited because we'll move on to the next one. It's gonna be stunning for the Mardi Gras. So if any of you are down south or you have a client that going down south celebrate Mardi Gras or even they are um, just celebrated. They all looks great. I'm so excited. See, this nails is completely done. If you want to do designs and different shape of the crystal, you're more than welcome. But if you want to do like, it have the crystal right here as well. You see it? it? It's really hard to show you from my end, but uh, on your end, but my end, it looks so sparkle. And like, it's hard to showing it. Like, it had to be focused on it. All right, so let's move on to the next cute nails. Uh, can I get that one? The other one, the yellow one. I'm gonna do some fusioning. Fusioning, everyone. I have this really nice base again for all of you. And I am going to use my, um, instead of no wipe top coat, I am going to use a matte top coat. So this is a matte top coat because I am going to use fusioning on this. And this matte top coat is give you a perfect matte. It's really sway matte. Let some hair stuff fur get in there. I'm gonna pop this in a lamp for about 60 seconds. Let's see, I have some hair in there. Great, 60 seconds, please. And next, I am going to using Thinking Green. So, Yesterday we did with purple. It looks freaking cute for Mardi Gras. And let me try see how that thinking green turn out. I think it's gonna be good because we are gonna put some um, purples. We're gonna do, we are going to do some masquerades and some crystals on. So we'll see how it turn out because I'm excited to get to play with this. So only I need, I'm using one color, so I'm going to using Crystal Clear is my solution. So then it blend really nice for me. This is really helping me so much. Like if, again, if you have a hard time doing your marble ink, fusion ink, and if you are on like so hard time, like, oh my God, I don't know if like my fusion ink, it keep bleeding, keep, blending and it just blurry it doesn't look good because you are probably using a little bit too much of your fusioning and or you using too much of your solutions either way so I am going to just tap just few drop it looks good though You don't need a whole lot and let it set for just a bit and then we're gonna using our crystal clear so we're gonna blend it out just to give it some veins look And always have a piece of paper so then that's way you can wipe up your brush before you put it back into your crystal clear that's way you got me the new one mm -hmm.
and at less is more you don't want to do to over saturate your fusioning as is uh, alcohol base it's gonna bleed it out if you're using it too much and it's always let your clients know is they are different like all different designs different look of fusioning or marbling they're not identical so they will like know that it's not all the designs that they see it on instagram or um pinterest are the same we're gonna do them, like really close in now but we can't exactly like do the same 100 percent identical so if you like you're happy with this look i think it looks cute though You see that I'm literally, you just little, little of uh, crystal clear just enough. Because if I'm using it too much, I am going to like accidentally bleeding like my fusion ink design away. Great. Happy with this. I'll let it just air dry. It doesn't necessarily need like to be cured. And then I am going to using um, premiums. I hold chamfer for. I am going to chamfer all the cute masquerades on this. And then I'm going to dress it up with crystals. Oh, look at that, everyone. Looks that stunning. Okay, let's play, let play with that. So premium I hold chan for foy as my fusion ink start setting good. So I'm gonna put all anti like cover completely and tie the nails because I'm gonna do like a lot of different masquerades on the surface of this nails. Pop in the lamp for about 30 seconds. If you're using a premium I hold chan for foy, it's 30 seconds. I love this guys. Like you press it on, you feel it. You don't have to worry about, oh my God, get nervous that it's going to come up or it's going to stay or it won't do that to you if you're using a premium. premium. The eye hole, a regular eye hole chan for voice is great as well. But if you are in a busy salon, um, get a lot of like busy with the clients and you need to keep it faster, this is your 30 second and it works great and it works in under any LED lamp. So I have an idea of this. I'm doing that masquerade and I am going to using a ruby rose and dress it up with the masquerade. And then I also have that yellow glow in the dark. And I'm gonna do this one and this blue one. I am going to use it, that blue. Maybe I should use a strong blue though. But this one looks like a mask. This one, it looks like a more of, um, more of a uh, matty grass great so I am going to place this mascaras right there and then hold on is my blue is hidden down here And I do a smaller one. But all these stuck in there. It's okay. They, you see how stuck fast it is? It's like, hello, I didn't meant to be in that spot, but it's already here, but might as well. Also, if you want to do a background of some other colors of uh, Mardi Gras, you are more than welcome. You can feel free to do it like the same past live video I did, it's like using a uh, scrumple my different colors of a uh, chanfer foil, and I just place them on the nail so it make it looks really nice and ombre. So I peel all that film off if you see on my hand, 
it's completely chamfers the design it looks so freaking stunning so i am going to using condensed glue gel and applied and tie the nails so it doesn't look thick at all so every each step i do i did is really nice and generous layer so you don't feel that it's building up like at uh, thickness at all but it's also it looks nice and it can hold your crystal and chamfer foil in a really nice place so i am going to apply it all and tie the nails as i am going to dress this cute nails i love the background in the back it has a little bit of hint of green it doesn't look too much too busy with green but it looks good because it has some green look in it can you uh, please clean that one uh, going to a no wipe top coat if you have a little bit trouble shootings uh, with your crystal placement and it's keep coming off to use to for you is probably because of you didn't get it enough amount of glue gels or maybe you didn't press it gently down to the base of glue gels and top coat or your um, LED lights is not curing properly so I am going to Oh, I'm so excited. Let play with this and see how this one turning out. I just want to dress them completely, but then I don't want them to be cover all the mascara. Unless you want the mascara to be covered, you can also. I think it looks good, but I'm afraid of uncover completely. Take it away from the detail of it. You can make this one a big, big, huge one if you want to. Um, this one is only on the side. And one yellow right there. I almost, I almost like cover completely, but I'm thinking, oh, but then it's gonna take away from really nice chance for foy. Oh, this one just challenged me. Great. And now I am going to zigzag that a little bit. I'll put some hint of green on it. Thanks so much, Neil by Jamie. Yes, now by Jamie. Thanks so much, Infinities. Thank you so much, everyone, for your love and support. We're gonna go and like a little bit design down here, going down right there. So I'm gonna do some green. You would never go wrong with this. Like, doesn't matter whatever you come up with, this product is so easy, friendly using. Like, you will never, you think. If you place your crystal next to each other and place them like it tight together, you are never gonna make any of uh, really literally any mistake at all. Put it just to the side. That looks so cute though. I'm gonna do a green because we have the base as the yellow and then we have hot pink we have really like kind of a light orange yellow so i'm not gonna try to mess it with others unlike this green you can do a lighter green and the purpose of i want to do this because if your clients is going out like they celebrate this is really glow in the dark for them it makes it so freaking stunning like they're going out I don't know if they're going down to uh, New Orleans or they are 
doing like a Mardi Gras ball or parade. This is super freaking cute if they are going at nighttime on the parade. So, really cute. I did that edit more because then the nail is gonna get a lot of like glow nail or uh, glow crystals. Great. If you want to do chains, you can, or you can also doing a beat. I think I'm gonna put some beats in to just bring the gold out. Ooh, I already seeing it. Me and Vicky got to uh, chance to go down to New Orleans in November. We are having a great time. First time her, uh, she, Vicky going down to New Orleans and she had so much fun. And we was in St. Hotel, the most haunted hotel in French Quarter. She gonna tell you about that. My a lace came off of my shoe. I tight, it's really tight and it came up in that block. It's a haunted block. I didn't know until like, it's so uh, interesting, but also it's so scary. I couldn't sleep it on that night. Like she sent me a whole link of a haunted video, um, the uh, hotel, and she's snoring, sleeping, and leave me there with stay awake. And then like, I start hurting with, uh, what is that? The, uh, the faucets start running and dripping. And then I am sleeping in that bed is like in front of the mirror and it's so freaking scary and it's old hotel. It's just so weird and it's so historical. And uh, at that night, we walking on that block and that is the um, most haunted block in the whole entire 12 blocks of French Quarter. It's great to know about the, hus the uh, history. It's interesting, it's so nice, but it's a great experience. And then she was laughing at me like, oh, look at your lace, it came off. And I said, oh, I typed it really good. And then I don't know why it came off. And then she's just giggling. And then the next, we walked a few steps and then her shoes came off, the laces came off too. And then we just like, oh, run. Oh, I like that. It looks so great. Look at that. Do you like? It looks just nice. Great. It is fun. It's really fun. Okay, are you happy with this? Are you all happy with this? Before I pop in the lamp, any requests at all? I think it looks good. Like all masquerades. I feel naked over here. Maybe I'm like too obsessed with. Hey, Miss Corina, how are you? Thank you so much. This is a Mardi Gras uh, nails that we're going to do it down in South. Okay, yes, pop in the lamb. So let me, thank you so much, Infinity. Thank you, Judith. Nails, pins, Oberhe, thanks so much. Joey, Beauty Boutique, thank you. Nail pins, yes, if you go down, it's like stay in one of the haunted hotel, which is if you go to the 12 um, blocks of French Quarter. You know, I love about down south in New Orleans. People were so nice and it's so um, historical and it's so like a lot of cultures, good cultures, plus the food is really good. People was nice. The music is nice, but it's only a scan like you will never know like what hotel you're going to stay. And then there's a lot of them are uh, historicals and they're going to take you to tour if you take a tour on, like uh, Haunted and Spirits, I think. And they can tell you what building get people got killed or they got so like all cool things. So you gotta experience yourself. I don't wanna ruin your trip. <laughs> and that is, but it was my experience and I couldn't. I, so I, what happened in that night, I couldn't. And then I couldn't even call no one because in the middle of the night. So I've just seen myself turn on my phone, put my uh, AirPod on and listen to music and episode all night, couldn't sleep. <laughs> it's so crazy. So my precision glue, so every time we're thinking about that, I'm just like, oh, it's so, I can't wait until like it's getting, I don't know why I get that. I don't think it's scared. It's just like really interesting. 
but then it's so quiet and the hotel is really nice but it's like so um antique it's really antique though like even the bed the mirror and the bathroom is so like they keep all the faucets is old because they want to keep it historical and the door you have to like put the keys in there are no like corks and scan or anything you have to like really put the real keys and the lobby has a real like a, a place that uh, the shelf that they're holding the keys you're seeing like all that um hotel the old hotel the antique one that have all that holes to hold the keys in so it's really interesting so i just went through with my pre-season glue but i see that i did apply the pre-season glue with some of them i have extra which is the excess i am going to use which is i'm using right now is twin tip brush on the um detail brush i am going right on the edges of all the crystals and really gently blend the excess glue gels so that's way after you cure them you get them out they stay nice and flawless for you without lumpy bumpy and plus it double secure for your crystals I'm gonna pop this into the lamp for about 60 seconds and this nail are completely done I can't wait. Even like, if you have any stories, share with us. Yes, you should. Nail pins, you should. It's so much fun. And it's, it's like, if you're flying it to um, New Orleans, I think it's uh, Armstrong. I think it's Armstrong Macaw as airport. It's really easy to go from any any airport, though. And then you can go down to New Orleans. Don't forget to eat at uh, the Café du Monde. It's really good. Beignet is just to die for. I wish I can ship every single of you the beignet, but you have to eat it right there when it's fresh. So it's really great experience. And the food is really, really good, delicious. Yes, um, glamorous for the class of February 9. Will they give the certificate? Yes, you will receive your gift out uh, your certificate upon your uh, complete the class these nails are completely done I can't wait because on the February class we not only can learn all of uh, basic from a crystal placement would we'll be right there hands-on with you if you have any questions anything we will walk you step by step so even you are like just start from beginning where you know some crystal placement but you're afraid of you didn't get it right or you still have a troubleshooting would we'll be right there and we'll walk you through step by step and all different uh designs and for instance if you have like if you have a one of this mixed back in front of you and it looks at first you're sitting like oh i don't know what to do with this after the class you will know what you're going to play with this so this is really much fun about so i'm putting this one down here and then we are going to the next nails for you. I'm going to use that nails. How different is this one though? It feels stunning though. I'm just feeling like it's colorful. You think I'm gonna using this for the Valentine? What do you think? My Valentine nails is like it's kind of coral nails. I'm going to using condensed glue gel and up like the good generous amount of all anti the nails. Would you like to see some uh, liquid can powder tomorrow? We can go back with some really fun ombre nails for is coming spring if you want to see valentine we can also do some valentine and spring nails i'm excited all right so if you are first time working with our condensed glue gels it might be feeling really thick for you which is normal just blend them out nicely no wipe top coat if you are don't if you are doing a matte top coat, what you need to do is just apply the matte top coat on the top, 
instead of no wipe top coat. So you can use either one. You want to choose the matte look or the shiny look. It's really it's up to you. I'm putting a shiny look and I have right here in front of me. You probably can't see it, but I try to move it over here. You can see it. I have my little cute frame. And I will show you a little bit um, later that how I'm doing it this. I'm bending it. This is for you, for me, Valentine's Day. It's coming next week. What day is that, Valentine's? 14th. The, I know, but uh, Wednesday? 15th. Like Wednesday next week? And... If you are like, don't want to do anything with red, you can use this AB to apply right here. It looks so cute though. It looks so simple, but it's super cute. And don't worry, I'm gonna bend that after that week here. Should we add something else? Infinity, I'm not like, I promise if you're doing it like the same, it's gonna turn out exactly the same what I did though. I promise. Let me put some smaller B, uh, smaller AB. It looks really cute though. If you have the frame, which is this one I'm using from the collection, is really freaking cute. This is um, Supreme's um, rose gold frame. It has all the heart, and then it has lips. It's like you can't never go wrong with this. You can pretty much do everything with that. And I will show you how is you can bend the frame and everything else. That's it. I'm gonna pop in the lamb for about 60 seconds. Looks so cute. This one I was thinking if you're doing a matte top coat, it looks good as well. And here's a, some cool tip and trick. I have a super cute right here. Uh, I would like to share if you are doing it, some of uh, the nails with a lot of frame, which is I also do it too. I get that some of them are bands already, but if you are need this one to band it to fit with the apex of the nails, or if you are like have a client's have a really high, high C curve, you're gonna using it to just band it. Put them in and press. Look at that. Is cure uh, is curl really nicely for you? And it depends if you want to do like if you want to curl more or if you want to curl less. So it fit right on the C curve of the nails. And also work with any frame like this frame right there. And there's two sizes, I think, on the set, like a smaller size and the bigger size. All you need to do is super quick and fast. It doesn't take like much time. Just press it down. 
and release that and you get the frame you can see that I don't know how you can see it from here but my ants can see it from here here let me let me move it like that it looks so it's so handy though Oop. and I place on the nails without here let me place on my nails so you can see it like I have really nice like um, is C curve and apex right there and then you can see that literally it stay on stay really nice and curve the size of my nails so this cute one is called what is the frame bender frame bender so if you want to get that so yeah it's like three different options is really cute and it's super easy I have this one right here coming out. I am going to using uh, precision glue. So excited to see everyone today. Was, we did a lot. We did like three cute nails. I'm going to using my needle size. They are doer and I am going to use this and and I'm gonna fill in completely into the frame and this frame you don't have to worry about if it's going on the top of the frame because it doesn't take away from the size of the frame at all so you feel free if you accidentally get uh, on the top of it I would not doing it with the crystal because then that way crystal gonna it's gonna destroy the shine the cut and the sparkle of it I would do it on the base of the crystals surround that and arouse all the frame this frames right here is so cute and but blend is really nicely I bend them all of them like earlier so then that's a fit in surround the crystal if I feel like an extra glue I am going to using my Twin tip brush line again, like earlier, I will share with you, and I am going to blend them nicely. Just blend them. So then, after you cure, it doesn't look lumpy. But if you feel like you have so many of excess here because we have so many frames, you are can completely totally if you want you can coat one coat of a top coat if necessary. I would do not top top it on the top of the crystals, but I would do it surround with the frame. Even like some of them that you want to blend it completely. But I would not do it on the top of the crystal, just the frame to keep them blended nicely. I think I like that a lot. That is so simple. So here, you can use this base as a pink. I think it looks great with the hot pink, light pink, or you can do with red. It looks great. It looks so nice and simple, but so pop in the lamp for about 60 seconds. Hey Brad, how are you? Monkey too hot. Uh, do you mean this one, sweetie? This one is the frames bender. So they have three different options for you to choose different colors, like which is each um, collection come with two of them, like a two bender. So it's really, it's really handy. I like it a lot. So I am going to pop this red cap back in because we don't want to accidentally spill it. And I'm gonna open this so you can see the brush, okay? So if you need to do a small uh, crystal SS3, SS4 halo around the cuticles, you can use this size to apply them in. I do that a lot too sometimes when I finish with the client they say, oh, I want extra one or two. Instead of using condensed glue gel, you can just using um, your precision glue and it stay really nice. 
Thank you, Mom. Hey, Brad, you was there. Hey, nails by Dora. How are you? Looks gorgeous. Great. Look at that, everyone. I'm so excited. Let me know what you would like to see tomorrow because I am going to do a chrome tomorrow, which is this really a gorgeous chrome. The green is perfect for Mardi Gras as well, and also it can work great for um, uh, St. Patty. It's funny that we... I love to give you a lot of different uh, content because... As along with a little bit with a lot of holidays coming in your clients will get a lot of ideas so I would love to share with you so then you can be prepared and sit back and feel really confident and ensure that I always got your back and we get all different cool ideas so you can do similar or you can get all different of the background like I would say this one you can change it to different background you can do green or you can do a purple, it looks great either way. So I think you are never gonna go wrong with any of those. And the product is make it so much easier and convenient and you are never gonna have to have like, it's really very a troubleshooting to work with this. Also, it's the last time, last call for to uh, sign up for a New York class so then we can prepare it's really well for class it's gonna be so much fun we get to learn from a basic to advance all the crystal you get to see us to do live video and share with you but it's nothing like to see to get to see you in person and get to be able to um, share with you and be there for you so then if you have any trouble shooting or any question we'll be there to make sure that we are completely help you with the crystal placement with the techniques and everything so hi Roxy nail art how are you yes monkey to heart the both frames uh, bender and then the frames is yes you can see the uh, all the product in our website glitz accessory and such a link in the bio so you can see that it's gonna go under of uh, the springs and Valentine's special or is the um, I think it's metallic frames. I think, um, or you can type in the search bar. It will take you right to where you need. This one is called a frame bender. And this one is the Supreme's Rose Gold Frames. I think I love this. There's so many. I haven't get chance to go to every single of them yet. So we're going to do it together as we go uh, along with our different live video. So like I make sure I'm going to say... I'm gonna answer all everyone questions. Anyone have a questions for me? If you can't get hold of me is right now, you're seeing is some question that you haven't get chance to ask, you can always DM us. Um, and also you can uh, email us at info at glitzaccessoryandsuch.com and we're gonna have the class information for brand ambassador and training liquid and powder crystals nail art is coming in the end of march so please stay tuned it's gonna be a great opportunity for every single of you to take your business to the next level you gotta learn like intensive for not only liquid and powder dipping powders um crystal placement nail art more everything that everything about the nail art and plus that you get to learn how you can able to be a part of Glitz team to train and help other people successful like we helping you. So we are so excited and we are really thanks to you for great love and support for past two years. Um, Infinity, the giveaway is if you go to the post, if you go to the post, Glitz accessory and such, sweetie, is get all the information for giveaways. And uh, please don't forget to read the... Um, I think the comments, uh, not the comments, is the caption in there. So let's have all details. So make sure you go fo follow all the steps on the details. And you can also go on Facebook. All of you can go on Facebook and enter to win on Facebook. So more chance for you to win. So it's great. I have a, such a great night tonight. We're going to be back tomorrow, absolutely, on Wednesday. And we're going to do it with another live tutorial and I'm so excited. We're probably gonna do some liquid and powders that like we can do some ombre, we can do marbling, or we can do like a lot of different like we did 
um, a lot. We did jade nails. We did so many. Like what tomorrow can do is with uh, combinations of the two colors I really like, which is maybe we can do a uh, yellow and purple or blue. That will be so much fun. I can't wait. I always have all the notes here on my side right here. And then we uh, will do it tomorrow. You are very welcome, Judy's. Sugar. Nail pins. The sugar, you mean ombre? Okay, we can do sugar tomorrow. And then ombre. Let me write it down. I'm so excited. You see that how easy it is? You all got to go live with me. And you see that how it's simple we're doing. And we're going to do a sugar. And then we're doing an ombre. And then we'll have a chrome tomorrow. Great. So we have a really good list for every week. I'm so excited, everyone. Don't forget to enter to win. Have fun and good luck to every single of you. Thanks to you. That's why we can able to do is a lot for our community. Let's help each other to be really good and successful. And also, let me see. Do I have anyone? Why are you so mad? Uh, you could be so scared. I know. <gasps> do you do freestyle? Have an idea before starting. Uh, Infinity, I do a lot of stuff buying uh, freestyle. I like to share with you because, with all of you, because I was saying that's how I get trained to be really like a flexible. So that's all the classes we do to be training all the nail artists and, and share with all of you like even those if you have one tray of crystal in front of you what you're gonna able to create with that that's what we would love to to able to pass on to every single of you so you are never afraid of to see things in front of you like oh I can't do it yes you can do it just believe in yourself so and also like I have a plan it out but I do have all the list of content what I want to do so then I can share with you. But I don't have to necessarily place them out first. Some of them I just come with the fresh mind. And my brain just start turning in. Like, okay. Like, it's just start turning on and start playing as I talk to all of you. So I let you get, you know, take a lead. Okay, if you want me to do this, then I can able to do. So you can able to do that, you know, after... You already good. You already so talented. But we sharing with tip and trick with you more and details in the class because sometimes a live video we're doing it day to day. You can't really tell what intense class when you have not only me but you have three or four other a brand ambassador of the company put it together a program and train you every single minute when you with us. So I'm so excited to to share with all of you with that. All right, all my love. Yes, I have it. Sugar right here. Sugar nail art. Ombre. Oh my God, is that is so good. Ombre black and red. I got it. I will share with you how the great tip and trick from one of my mentors that shared with me. That's. I think I did it one time. I did it one time uh, with live video. You probably can watch it on um, YouTube as well at Glitz Accessory and such on YouTube, or is uh, I think it will link to my YouTube is uh, Beauty Forever with Nancy. Beauty forever, so four instead of four is F O R is number four, like a, a number number four. So, but that is, but we can also do that ombre tomorrow. You get to see me doing like ombre a black and red. Yes, great. Thank you so much. Hey Hilda, thanks sweetie for tuning in. I love seeing you doing the classes, and we can't wait to. You know, doing all the classes together. I am going to send you more information as well, Hilda. I'm so proud of you. So great. Thank you so much. And hope you have a great night tonight, Tuesday. And I will definitely see you all tomorrow on Wednesday. Don't forget to enter the um, giveaway. And also, the special is Valentine's sales going on. It's going to be announced tonight. So please stay tuned for more information. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye-bye.